Marcus Rogers, Gods of Stone, Exposed. Marcus Rogers says, This has been such a wonderful season for me. 2020 and 2021 have been some of the most amazing years of my life. Getting ready to turn 35 on the 19th and looking back, it has been some very hard years. I had an extremely hard life, but God has turned it into something beautiful. Everything I am and everything I have, I owe it all to him. Never had a father, but thank you God for being my father and showing me how to be a man. You are the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. Remember, if we build it in this season, he will bless it. Love you, Jesus. Marcus Rogers goes on to say, Gods of Stone coming soon. So what is Marcus Rogers talking about? Gods of Stone coming soon. So what does Gods of Stone mean? It means Hephaestus. What does Hephaestus mean? It means Greek god of blacksmith, metalworking, carpenters, sculptors, craftsmen, and fire. Member of the Twelve Olympians. Member of the Twelve Olympians are the demonic Greek gods to the left of your screen. Marcus Rogers is representing the demonic Greek god Hephaestus. This is why Marcus Roger has a sledgehammer in his hand. He is representing the god of blacksmith, one who worked metals. Greek demonic god Hephaestus. Marcus Rogers has daddy issues. Marcus Rogers has deep rooted seeds of rejection planted in his childhood from the abandonment of his biological father, a abandonment that drove him to the demonic. Notice that Marcus Rogers has on a checkerboard lumberjack shirt. This symbolizes his association with the Freemasons. All Freemason lodge floors have this ritualistic checkerboard flooring, which represents good and evil. So Marcus Rogers wears his checker shirt, even though it is red and black. The checker shirt is there symbolizing the Freemasons. Marcus Rogers is a Freemason. Marcus Rogers in this video is representing the powers that be, the Illuminati a Olympian Greek god. But on his album cover, End of Times, here he is representing, as usual, the Baphomet. Marcus Rogers holds the metal work of the Greek god, Hufaitis, Marcus Rogers has to pay the piper. He has to represent. Notice the sledgehammer is wrapped in blue at the end of the stick. 
This blue wrap represents blue blood. Blue blood means the aristocrat, the privileged, noble families, the powers that be, the Illuminati. Marcus Rogers hits the rocks with his sledgehammer sideways, releasing a subliminal message to you. Marcus Rogers reveals the subliminal message in a nanosecond speed. This subliminal message came on and went off before you could blink your eye. This is done in this fashion so that it can bypass your conscious mind and enter into your subconscious mind. Once in your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind will take it in as truth, as a fact. It does not matter if the narrative is good or bad, right or wrong, true or false. Once it enter into the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind takes it in as truth. Up to 90% of what you do is done through the subconscious mind. This is why Satan targets this part of your brain. It is here can he deceitfully control you. James Vickery was a market researcher, best known for his pioneering the concept of subliminal advertising with an experiment in 1957. James Vickery was able to increase Coca-Cola and popcorn sales in a movie theater. By flashing subliminal visuals up on the screen in a nanosecond speed, telling the people in the audience to drink Coca-Cola and eat popcorn. James Vickery was able to increase popcorn sales by 58% and Coke sales by 18%, the power of subliminal images. And this is exactly what Marcus Rogers and the powers that be are doing, only it's not for popcorn and Coke sales, but for the sale of Satan. As Marcus Rogers strikes down with his sledgehammer in a nanosecond speed, the message was flashed, gods of stone. It was in and it was out. I have placed the video in slow motion so that you are able to see it better. Here is the video.
the video at normal speed. Marcus Rogers and the powers that be deceitfully slipped in the subliminal message. Gods of stones. Because Marcus Rogers is making reference to the God of stone that is on his album cover that covertly lay in the dirt. The Baphomet. People, I have already told you that the Baphomet is an androgynous demon, meaning he has both body parts of a male and female. And so you see this illustration on the front cover of Marcus Rogers' album, End of Times. People, do you see the Baphomet placed in stone on top of the dirt with his two stone breasts? He is laying there as if he is at the beach trying to get a suntan. I will place two white dots into the eye sockets of the Baphomet to bring God of stone out of hiding. There you go, you guys. And you guys can see that this is a, sublimin a subliminal image of the Baphomet. And like I said, the Baphomet is an androgynous creature having both the body parts of a male and female. And as you can clearly see here, this is the Baphomet, okay? And then the, in the upper torso of the Baphomet, you can see that he has the breast of a woman here. But in the lower torso of the Baphomet, you see that he has the sex organ of a male, okay? So this is what this thing here is representing, the Baphomet, so you can see his head. I just dropped these two white dots into the already black, eye sockets of the Baphomet, <clears throat> excuse me, to bring his face out that much more clearly for you guys. And then this part is going up here to a point here. This represents the fire of the Baphomet. And here's the container. And here is the fire. Okay. And then by the way, that's where Marcus Rogers got his church, Firehouse. Firehouse is nothing more than the container of the Baphomet that housed the fire. So that's where Firehouse came from. Um, but I digress. So here you see uh, the face of the Baphomet. And like I said, once again, this is his fire going straight up here. And then I placed these two white dots uh, right into the black eye sockets that were already there. This area right here is his nose. This is his mouth and down here is his chin. So this is the face of the Baphomet and these two big round stone mounds here are the breasts. You see the breasts here, the Baphomet right here? This is what this represents people. These two big round balls here, stone balls that Marcus Rogers is standing in front of represents the breast of the Baphomet. So here you have a subliminal image of the Baphomet that Marcus Rogers is giving glory and honor to. That is why he has this subliminal image of the Baphomet, this stone image on his album cover. Okay? 
Marcus Rogers sings, You are no God of stone. You sit high on the throne. So we can see this God here, which represents is a subliminal image of the Baphomet. Once again, you can see his face. I just dropped in these two white dots over his already existing black eye sockets. Here at the top of his head, it comes to a point. This represents the fire. You see the fire here, people? That comes from the container of the Baphomet. So this is what this represents. So you can see his face, his two eyes, his left and his right eye. You can see his round nose. You can see his mouth and you can see his chin area. So this is the face of the Baphomet. Down below, it is illustrating his large stone breast here. As you see, the Baphomet has the breast of a woman. Okay, so this is why these two round mound stones are here because these two things represent breast, the breast of the Baphomet. So Marcus Rogers sings, you are no God of stone, but yet and still he has this subliminal image of the Baphomet set in stone here. And then he says, you sit high on the throne. When you see images of the Baphomet, it is pretty much always depicted with him sitting on a throne, as you see with this Baphomet here. So Marcus says, you are no God of stone, you sit high on the throne. So this is the throne that Marcus Rogers is referring to, people. As you see, the Baphomet, this androgynous creature, this demon that is sitting on the throne, this is what Marcus Rogers is referring to when he said, you sit high on the throne. So once again, this god of stone laying on his back as, as if he's at the beach getting a suntan, Marcus Rogers said, you are no god of stone. You're more than that. You sit high on the throne. And once again, you see the Baphomet sitting on his throne. Satan is represented three times on Marcus Rogers' album cover. This is done to ensure that you receive Satan into your subconscious mind. Fool me once, shame on you. So this um, light here that looks like a falling star, Jesus said that he saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. So this is what this is representing. Satan falling from heaven like night, like lightning. Fool me twice, shame on me. And here we have a subliminal image of a dragon here in the sky, you guys. You see this dragon here? You can see his right eye. I didn't put this here. This was already placed here by um, the powers that be. You can see the top of his head as it flattens out. You can see the crack in his mouth at, as it is partially open there. You see that? And you can even see a little round hole here, which represents the right nostril of the um, dragon. So, and this is like his ear right here. So you can see this dragon right here, you guys. Okay. And we all know who the dragon represents. It represents Satan. Fool me three times. And once again, we have the Baphomet. Okay, he's down here like if he is at the beach, getting a suntan, and uh, his two big round mounds here made of stone represent the breast of the Baphomet. Okay? The Bible says, the prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their own means, and my people love to have it so. Some people just love to be deceived. You can give them all the proof in the world, but they will still look the other way and cleave to people who are telling them lies and that, that will deceive them. They just love those kind of people. 
Marcus Rogers is down with the Baphomet. He is definitely a Baphomet boy. The Baphomet is Marcus Rogers' father. The father he never had. And the Baphomet is nothing more than a representation of Satan. Listen to the words of Marcus Rogers' song, God of Stones. He is actually singing to the Baphomet, a.k.a. Satan. They search through the galaxy they flown through the stars and they play with the magic Trying to find you They won't open their bottles They just bow to their eyes But there's nothing like you There's nothing like you You are no fairy tale You are no baby You are no god Marcus Rogers subscribers asked him, what does Gods of Stone mean? The album cover tells the complete story. Check out my video, End of Times Exposed, for complete exposure of this album cover. And yes, Marcus Rogers, I do have the spirit of the Most High. That is why I am able to discern your corrupt spirit. And once again, the message is for Marcus Rogers. People, you are free to listen in hopes to save some from hell's fire. But the message is for Marcus Rogers. 
I do not have to convince him of his demonic association with the Baphomet, a.k.a. Satan. It is written, Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be made known. Whatever is done in the dark will come to light. All right, people, you've been warned. Stay away from Marcus Rogers. This adulterer sole job is to send many to hell. Marcus Rogers is a big devil and it is his season to be exposed. Take heed, let no man deceive you. Yahshua love you, be blessed.